In next 10 minutes, you're gonna learn how to edit a YouTube video on your smartphone with proper text animation, view animation, and anything that you need to make your YouTube videos more interesting. And I give you all the secret that video editor use to make their videos more interesting. So let's open the Kine Master. Kine Master is one of the most powerful and advanced video editor you can find on a mobile phone. So open the kind master and you have the basic opening interface of the kind master so click on this plus icon and kind master shows you many aspect ratio that fits in every platform for youtube we select 16 is to 9 instagram or tiktok video we select 9 is to 16 and we have also many aspect ratio for now i'm creating a video for youtube so i select 16 is to 9 and when you click the situation is ratio here you have the main interface of the kind master the main editing interface so there is no need to panic because it is very simple so click on this browse button and import your file you want to edit your video and your video show up the timeline of the kind master and the main game is start for now so you need five things to make your video more professional to look like professional to sound like professional the first thing is cut trim basically two things that mean same so what is that mean when we record a video when you shoot a video there is a lot of movement lot of silence awkward movements that we don't want to show to our viewer so we need to cut and sometimes we cut in between the video sometimes is the end sometimes in the beginning of the video so it's very easy to cut between a video in the end of video or the beginning of video in the time of suggest click on the video choose a scissor option and here we have three or four option i will be so the first option is cut in the right side of the video and the next one is the left side of the video and the third one is used to cut in the middle of the video so this is the main three tools that we need to cut or trim our video so for every video we trim the first part the first part where we select the option where we uh, set up the light and anything so we need to cut to trim the video so it's very easy the two ways you can do it the first way is click on the very edge of the video and just start to push a right side and you and you see that you actually trimming the video but if you don't want to do this or want to, to cut a large portion of the beginning of the video it's very easy just click on the video slide the timeline put where you want to start your video and go to the scissor option and select the cutting right side option that i think the first one and you see that the first portion of unwanted part of your video is cut down so here you have the perfect opening video so the same thing is applied for the end of the video where we just take off our mic and, and shut down the lights and everything that you don't want to share with your viewer so the same thing applies with the end part of the video just click on the video where you want to end your video and just go to the scissor option select the second one and discard the rest of the video so here you have the start to end perfect video but sometimes in the middle of video someone interrupts that sometimes we forgot what to say so we need to cut in the middle of the video sometimes and for me is every time <laughs> so i think most of the people every time when they start editing they cut in the middle so it's a very common problem <laughs> so it's very easy to cut between a video just put your timeline timestamp where you want to edit in the middle of video go to the scissor option select the third one and you see that your video is separate in two parts and then again slide the timeline and put where you want to start your video in the middle video so and go to scissor option and cut in between then you're done so here you have a video that there is no break there's no awkward movement a perfect simple video now your video don't have any awkward any silence and boring unwanted part so what you need to do now is making your video more interesting what is that mean making a video interesting so you can do many things to make your video more interesting the first one is most underrated part is the background music the background music change the mood of your video if you're shooting a horror video the background music is slightly more horror type of sound effect and if you're making a tech video or talking to history background music it's different from a horror video 
and you're telling a story the background music is different from a horror or techy video so it depends on the video so don't underestimate the power of your background music so it's create the mood of your video so, so i'm gonna add a background music in guy master just click on this music button and you have all the audio file that you can import on your video it's so it's include all the mp3 mp4 web format files so i'm just gonna uh, select the background music that i found on youtube and just click on this plus icon and you have your audio file on your timeline so click on this audio file and select this audio file scroll through options and select the game so that kind master know this is the background music file and go to the mixer and put the volume down to 20 to 25 percent if you're making a video voice over type of video when you record high quality audio you can select to up to 30 to 35 percent of the background music but if you're creating with a little microphone on a webcam please <laughs> put the volume down to 20 to 15 percent so this is how you add a background music into your video the fourth point is adding photos or video layer so i'm can't explain how important is the photo layer or the video layer in a video in this video you already seen many photos many photos jumping through right or left everywhere so you can entertain all the time in video so it's adding very easy in kind master just click on this layer button go to the media and select the photo or video you want to uh, input on your youtube video and just uh, add some in animation or animation and you're done you just need a creative mind to edit your video so it's very very easy you can see that it's very easy so here we complete the four part and th so kind master provides you five different kinds of layers you can add on your video the first one we talked about earlier is the photo or video layer most important the second one is also important the fx layer so you can download a bunch of fx by kind master store but default you have only two fx the number one is blur and the number two also a blur but is the very hard blur the number one the first one i used in most of my videos because it allows you to highlight any text or video in your video and the third one is not that important because it's called stickers so you can download a bunch of stickers by kind master store but kind master defaultly provides you many sticker that you can use uh, if you need any kinds of stickers to your video so you can add from it and the fourth one is more important the text layer so you know the importance of the text layer because in every video seen many text layer so some people use as a subtitle some people use as a highlighted word so you can use it as you want you have bunch of customizing option like uh, shadows like um, boundary like glow in animation on animation so you have plenty of option to choose and make your text as you want fonts there is a many fonts sky master provides you so i go to light and I select this font it looks like very professional and just click on ok add some effects so you can see this is how we add text on kind mask and the fifth is also most important because this allows you to create a custom square or uh, circle arrow custom handwriting line in your kind master so these effects i used in this video in this scene so so now you know how to use these effects so this is all five kinds of different layer that kind master provides you another most useful tool of kind master is animation key animation key allows you to customly animate a moving animation so basically is mean you can animate a moving animation as you want so like in this scene i animate a moving scene of my daily schedule so i select this animation key and when you select the animation key animation key put a dot in the very beginning of the layer so like the timeline and, and click on this plus icon like this and move your photo or video layer anywhere you want and you can increase the size you can rotate the photo no matter what you do so when you click ok and play again you can see the the effects that you want to is applied so, so this is how you can customize your moving animation so i use these effects to create a mobile phone moving animation you seen in the video the fifth part is not related to the controls or the tools 
so no matter how i explain how deeply i explain to you the tools the how the function or the kind master works you're not gonna edit like a pro video editor because a pro editor not only need to write tools write photos write video like text fonts anything they need right mindset the creativity so no matter what application you are using if you are creative enough you create a very good video that other people appreciate and if you if i give you the most expensive the most powerful video then you don't have any creative thing in your mind so you will just end up with a messy cringy video so it's very important to make your mind more creative so it's very easy uh, to make your mind very creative just watch big youtubers creative youtube video and inspired from them and put the effort on your video it's not like copying the another creators editing style there's no such thing as an editing style if i use this text and someone uses the same text though so that mean i copy that youtuber so there is no such thing as editing style copy and anything so make your video as you want and apply the thing that you like on that video to your video so that's how you grow up so i think i explain all the basic much needed thing that you need to make a video more perfect there's no rocket science or uh, formula one formula anything that you just need a creative mind and some useful tools and a long hour sitting and editing a video so hope you like this video make sure to subscribe to next video that i am gonna uh, upload about two in one week and let's see how much we can grow this channel so thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video when you engage your viewers by active reading and active voicing and active reading and active listening and active watching so here <laughs>